Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. What better way to wake up, take a coffee, open the papers and reading on Corriere dello Sport, ci va la Juve. It is Juve that will go there. Of course, we are speaking about FIFA Club World Cup 2025. Since yesterday, triple whistle of Barcelona, three, Napoli one. We know now officially that Juventus qualified. And if you were not sure yet, well, look at the most beautiful tweet that I read yesterday, FIFA tweet that is writing congratulations Juventus on qualifying for the FIFA Club World Cup 2025. They tweeted immediately after the triple whistle. I believe one minute after. It was already, boom, official. As a result of Napoli's elimination from the Champions League, Juventus are now assured of a spot via Europe's ranking pathway and become the 10th team from Europe to qualify to the tournament. Guys, I'm happy for two things. First, because it is official. Secondly, because you know De Laurentiis was thinking, trying, speaking, making it public that he wanted to start the lawsuit. FIFA already answered once, now they replicated it black on white. Guys, mathematic can't be discussed. Juventus has 47 points, Napoli has 42, Juventus go, and I'm extremely happy. I have a headache. I slept really well, and that's probably why I have a headache. Why? Because I didn't sleep well. And people that are following the channel, they know how obsessed I was for that FIFA Club World Cup. They knew how, according to me, it was vital, crucial, extremely important. I never doubted that Juventus would be Juventus back. That Juventus would be back to be the Juventus that we all want, that we all love. I always love Juventus, but on top of that, a winning Juve. Never doubt about that. It's cycles. It happens. The only question I had was when. And usually these cycles are mini cycles. But this time I was worried because looking at financial books, looking at and being interested in what's happening, they are all telling us open books. It's public. You can go and control yourself. Juventus wants to be break even financially again in 25, 2026, in the books. That means at the end of the season 2026. That's two years from now. So the work, the path to be break even financially is long. And in that time, you can't go crazy. You can't do an overhaul just because you want to change like that, step by step. So I was extremely worried about how long will that cycle last before Juventus is again satisfying all the people? Because we, it's not a secret. Today, football is a business. First, management, that they are controlling things, the money, etc. And then you go with all the rest. With all the rest. Forecasting, planning, deciding the sporting side, the coach, the players, the investment, the youth sector, whatever you want to. And I was a bit worried, I don't lie, I was a bit worried about timing. And qualifying to that World Cup is not solving all the problems of the world. Eh? Let's not lie, let's be honest. But it's giving us a boost, a boost to accelerate a Juventus being back. Now, Giuntoli has a big, big, big responsibility there. Because, of course, when you have a possibility to have a boost, you can't mess up. You need to take the right decision from the technical staff to the players who stays, who leaves. So there are a lot of things that we want to discuss in today's video, explaining a bit the context of the FIFA Club World Cup really fast for people that do not know yet, that didn't understand really well what we are speaking about. Then also two comments that I picked from the numerous feedbacks and comments that I received yesterday. Thank you for that. Just to clarify last time. Then, oh guys, if you don't understand still after today's video, it's not my fault anymore. And then I tried everything. Then it's not my responsibility anymore. Maximo of like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now we start. We start with telling you the context. Juventus and Inter will represent Italy in that FIFA Club World Cup. There are only two clubs per country. Who are the ones for Europe? We already know 10 clubs out of 12. Chelsea, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, Inter, Porto, Benfica, Dortmund, Juventus. Two clubs more. Or, or end the winner of this edition, and if it's already a team that is already qualified, well, it will be Salzburg, because they have most points, next in line. And then a team between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Barcelona is to the quarterfinal. Atletico Madrid will play against Inter this evening. Let's see if they will go through or not. 12 clubs. On top of that, you have Al-Hilal, Urawa Reds, Al-Ali, Widad Casablanca, Monterrey, Seattle Saunders, Leon, 
Palmeiras, Flamengo, Fluminense and Oakland City. They are missing in total Europe and non-European countries 11 clubs. And then you have the 32 clubs. It is a World Cup. It is exactly the same way of playing a World Cup. A World Cup with 32 teams, group stages, knockout, winner. A lot of money has been pumped in there. Between 2 billion and 2.5 billion euro pumped in. The winner can go with a bit more than 100 million euro because he won that tournament. The people that qualify, more or less 50 million euro. Then in between, you can go to 60, 70, 80, 90, depending where you go in that competition. Okay, So it's extremely a lot of money. It's just to make you easy, your life easy. It's the same money as the Champions League competition. The difference is in Champions League, you need a season long to earn it. Here, in one month only. The injection of money is crazy. But it's not only money. Eh? It's the prestige. And for people that are thinking, because it's a bit abstract, because it's not now, it's not this summer. Eh? It's the 15th of June, 2025, until the 13th of July, 2025. So we are speaking about not this summer, the next one. People are thinking, it's a nice elite friendly tournament forget about it eh? it is absolutely not a friendly tournament it's not like when Juventus goes in USA and they play against Real Madrid Barcelona friendly uh, you do how many changes you want uh, because you are preparing it's not a prepare it's not a preparing a season eh? that's not what we are talking about we are talking about a season complete then you go a few weeks in training and you start participating playing that World Cup with the peak level of your teams. That's what we are speaking about. Huh? This is what, so it's a top, top, top tournament in terms of prestige in elite. It's the first time that you have a competition like that. You want to, otherwise I tell you, I would have been here at home watching Napoli, watching Inter, Real Madrid, fantastic games, and we are not participating. I would be pissed off. Then, oh, if you don't to part deserve to participate, you don't deserve to participate. Then you don't participate. Like Italy, sometimes they didn't deserve to participate. They didn't participate. You watch the World Cup and you don't enjoy it with the same eyes because you are not as much involved. But now that's the thing. We deserve to go in that tournament. So it's totally right that we are there. I received a question from someone that said, we don't deserve to be there because we play bad. And with a team that we have, we would be smashed by every single team there. We'll be out immediately. It will be a shame to be there. Uh, I don't dare to watch. It will be a disaster. We don't deserve to be there. With the team that we have, the mentality, etc., etc. First of all, it's not now. I already told you. It's next summer. So what will happen? Summer market now. With knowing that you have that money for the qualification for the FIFA World Cup. Hoping, because that's another story to qualify to the next Champions League, the normal Champions League, where you have at least 80 million euro, at least 80 million euro, at least 80 million euro. You have more money, you have more security. So Juntoli is there already since one year. Maybe they will take a drastic choice to change the coach, a new coach that will be there and that will have worked with the team since one year. New players. You will sacrifice some players. You will sign new players. You will have the possibility to go higher in the list of names that you've written on the paper. A players, B players, C players. Instead of going only for C players, maybe you can keep a Vlaovic, a Bremer, sacrificing other and going for a bit more higher on that list players to become stronger. And I told you, that's the responsibility of Juntoli now not making a lot of mistakes. He has no margin to do a lot of mistake. Will we go there just to participate and just for the money and just because it is a new tournament? No, this is not Juventus. Will we win it? Today on paper, we have no chance to win it. Except of miracles. We have no, not a lot of chance to win it. But in one month, everything can happen. And Juventus need to go there to honor that competition. How can you honor that competition? starting already now to make bold decision about who stays, who leaves, to start already building a team that is ready for multiple competition next year, to know that we want to go there to do, like we say in Italian, bella figura, to be there and to do the best that we can and not just to be there. So it's a big responsibility that we have. The comments that I received yesterday, I will pick two of them to explain a bit the situation. 
Red Eagle, that I know, he's always uh, commenting on the channel, so I know a bit who he is, uh, not personally, but from the chat. When he saw my short yesterday, where I was jumping on De Laurentiis, um, he wrote two questions. The first one is, for what? Well, just explaining for the people, because not everyone knows, but after the loss against Napoli, when I saw De Laurentiis jumping, I was pissed off. Not that he's the first president to do it, uh, even Agnelli did it on Inter songs. Who doesn't jump is an interista, he was jumping. So let's not be holier than the Pope here. So I was jumping for what? Because De Laurentiis, it's the context that was annoying me. He tried everything to take away Juventus from that competition on off-the-field things, knowing perfectly that Juventus has been banned from that competition, to not be able on the field to earn points. Sneaky way of doing it. Sneaky way. Promising money. That's the motivation that he was offering to his players. Money. Not the prestige. Not the elite money. Being violent against the cameraman. Being verbally violent against journalists. Guys, too many things made me extremely angry. And I promised it after the game. If we go through. If we qualify. I will do that video where I jump. So that's why I did it. And I celebrated because... According to me, and I explained, it, it's extremely important, crucial, vital that we qualify. And I'm happy to be there. I'm happy. Second part of that question, we have other priorities, man. What are the priorities of Red Eagle? Without him writing them, but I know what they are. Changing coach, avoiding that we have a lot of players injured in the J medical, that we are playing a better way of football, that we are focusing more on our youth, that we are giving them more chance, that we are playing a better way, that we are stopping with the 3-5-2, that we are able to have pace for 90 minutes, that we have that green tabac that Juventus avoids to be scared when conceding a goal. Oh, Red Eagles, I will tell you a secret. You have your priorities, I have exactly the same. And I believe everyone that is supporting Juve, a real Juve supporter, have exactly the same priorities as you have, as I have. But another secret I will tell you, you can't solve problems if you don't have the resources to solve problems. What are the resources to solve them? Money. Not only money. But money is a really big, important starting point in a business football that we are in. A second thing is also having a name. Have, like when Real Madrid is calling a player, a player doesn't think twice or three times. Juventus needs to have that attractiveness on the market. And being there and going and saying, we are one of the only two clubs that are participating to a fantastic tournament is something that is incredible. Thanks to these things, you start working on your priorities. Without them, you have to continue working on priorities, but it takes longer. It's even more difficult. And I hope this is, I believe, now addressed. The second comment that I watched was, this is how low we have dropped, hoping for another team to lose in order for us to qualify. We, sh we should stop worrying about other clubs and worry about ourselves first. Wait, wait, wait. Just to make it clear, Juventus has been taken the right to defend themselves on the field for a not really serious legal of the field topic where Juventus has been punished. Juventus has been taking away the right to have money to invest and to become better on the field. Yesterday, Juventus was not playing, not because we didn't qualify to the Champions League, but because the right has been taken away from us. And the only way we had to hope to qualify was because Napoli would lose. Like Milan, like Lazio before them. Yesterday I was not supporting Barcelona because I, like, I don't care about Barcelona. I couldn't really care less if Napoli goes through or not. But yesterday it was important for the good of Juventus that they didn't qualify. And this is what happened. So I think about my team. I believe that all the Juventini that yesterday and a lot of them were celebrating... It was for the good of Juventus, thinking about Juventus first. I saw also other people commenting, I am a proud Italian, I support Italian teams, I would have loved that Napoli went through. As a Juventino, it's fine. No. Then you are not thinking about Juve first. Then you are thinking about you being an Italian first. But here we are speaking about Juve. Punto uno. First point. Then... It's because of fans like this that we don't put pressure on the club. Because of fans that don't demand more from the club. This is, for me, a really absurd comment, but extremely absurd comment. It's even 
offensive comment because of fans like this like me because we are happy that we qualify that we are happy for something good that is happening to Juve that we are actually the bad of Juve it's because of us that we don't put pressure now if you want to protest against the club not buying shirts not watching games not supporting the club creating hashtags going in front of La Continasa this is your right this is absolutely your right. If you're not able to understand the difficult situation and you want to even put a layer on top of it, this is absolutely your right and you are free to do what you want. As I am free to be happy that I see for the first time in a long time a light at the end of the tunnel. That doesn't mean that we will reach, but at least a light in the tunnel. So you have to be, you must pay attention to how you formulate things because it's not correct. Okay, the problems of Juventus are there because of internal problems and because of external problems, not because of me that I'm celebrating because we have something to celebrate. A few topics before ending. Gazzetta dello Sport is speaking about Milan in big and Tutto Sport is speaking about Milan in big because Milan is in trouble. There were some investigations that went into their offices. They are under investigation for what reason? Because apparently the old owners, Elliot, looks like they didn't really sold it to the new management and they have problems because of uh, who is the real owner of Milan, what is happening there. I don't want to make the same mistake that all the people did against Juve, making them guilty before a honest, open court process where they have the ability to defend themselves. I wish that if Milan is innocent, that they are able to have a correct way and timing to defend themselves than going in front of court and make sure that they are able to say that we are and to prove that they are innocent. If they are guilty, they will pay the price for it. But in an honest, open judgment. Until there, until there, I will not speak too much about it. Also because I'm not an expert. Also because I don't know about... I, we already have enough problems with Juve. So imagine. But I don't want to do the same mistakes as the others. So I will skip that one. If you want to know more, you can ask me. I will tell you what I know. But otherwise it's better to go to a, a Milan channel or to read the paper yourself because I don't know. Finishing with the last part, important part. Now that we qualified, now that we have a worry less... That money, we have to spend it wisely. And it can start with a change of coach, but also with some players. Who stays, who leaves. And Tudor Sport made a list of players that needs to be there at the start of the project, like a Cambiaso, like a Yildiz, like a Danilo, like a Gatti. The, there is nobody else that is untouchable about Juve. That doesn't mean that we want Vlaovic to go away. That doesn't mean that we want Chiesa to go away, Chesney to go away, Locatelli that we want to go away, McKenny to go away. No. Everyone can stay, but nobody is untouchable. What about the youngsters? They can leave only for big offers. We speak about Huysen, about Sule, about Barrenecea, about Barbieri. All our youngsters on loan or from ourselves, Miretti, Nicolosi, they can go for big offers. What about Locatelli? Locatelli will be there next season, but Locatelli needs to wake up. There is an alarm sign. He needs to perform better. And that's what you have to do. Like a lot of other players will have the remaining weeks to perform better on the field, to show that they deserve to be there in a Juventus that wants to build the future. We said it. We said it. I reported what has been said by Juventus management. This is year zero. Sporting result will tell us how much we can accelerate. Well, one of the sporting results is that qualification on the FIFA World Cup. Another sporting result will be the qualification to the Champions League. And now we will know how fast we can go out of a really difficult situation that is taking too long to go out of it. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Maximum of like, don't forget to subscribe. Grazie, forza. Juve. <claps>